Hi, and welcome to FXPHD Environment 150. On this class, we're going to learn how to use Clarice from scratch. So the idea is to make sure at the end of the class, we are able to create an asset and manipulate from Maya to Clarice and to render anything in Nuke. So based on those four different renders, we're going to go through different steps. First of all, we're going to prepare our asset in Maya, obviously. So this is very important thing. It's always have to prepare everything in Maya, first of all. And then we're going to export these assets to Clarice. So in Clarice, we will be able to have this final render at the end of the course. So obviously, we need to learn how to set up our scene, how to organize everything, create some shaders, different render paths, and make sure we can assign different shaders and texture for different specific area of these assets. So at the end, we will have a nice turntable and be able to adjust everything in real time with Clarice. So this is, for instance, one of the first turntable you saw, and then we can then move to another one and here we're going to see the mountain one. So everything is extremely fast and quick in Clarice. We're going to take all the advantages in Clarice to make sure we can do this in real time. Here, for instance, we're going to see how to assign different shaders and textures and the UDIMs we did export on the different course in Substance. And then I'm going to see how we're going to plug in and do some color correction with all the nodes we have here and the map we're going to use here. Finally, in Nuke, we're going to create a small 3D setups to recreate our 3D environments with the camera and the spheres. And here now, we're going to have our final render here. So hopefully this class will be very useful to know and learn the basics of Clarice. I hope to see you very soon. Thank you very much.